Hi everyone. Today we're going to be reading a book called From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. So what do you think we're going to be talking about for this book? Let's make a prediction. Do you think we're going to be talking about plants maybe? And maybe seeds? Let's find out. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. So if it's a sunflower seed, it'll turn into a sunflower. If it's an acorn, it'll turn into an oak tree. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most of the seeds begin. A flower is made up of many different parts. Before a seed can begin to grow, a grain of pollen from the flower must land at the bottom of the flower. And then this is called pollination. So it pollinates. Pollination happens in different ways. Often wind blows pollen from flower to flower. Bees, other insects, and hummingbirds help pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice called nectar, pollen rubs up onto their bodies. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off. If pollen grain from a flower lands on the same kind of flower, it grows into an ovule. This is the beginning of a seed. The seeds grow inside of the flower, even as the flower begins to die. As the seeds become bigger, a fruit or a pod grows around them. The fruit or the pod protects the seeds. When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open and the seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds fall to the ground around the base of the plant where they will grow. Some pods or fruits open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. Other seeds fall into streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. And there they travel on the water until they stick to dirt along the shore. The wind scatters seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Others have wings that spin as they fall. Animals help scatter the seeds too. They hide acorns and nuts in the ground. Some seeds have hooks that stick to their fur or people's clothes. Later, they drop off onto the ground. A flower bed or vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in the gardens. The seeds come in small envelopes or boxes. Directions explain how to plant the seeds and care for the plants. The beginning of a plant is curled up inside each seed. Food is stored inside the seed too. The seed has a seed coat on the outside to protect it. A seed will not sprout until certain things happen. First, it must be on or in the soil. And then it needs rain to soak the seed and soften its coat. When the sun shines and warms the ground, the seed breaks open and it begins to grow. This is called germination. A root grows down into the soil and the root takes in water and minerals from the soil for food. You see the roots? Up grows a shoot. Green leaves grow up from the shoot toward the sun. The plant grows bigger and bigger and the leaves make food for the plant from the water and minerals in the soil, the sun, and the air all around the plant. Finally, the plant is full grown. 
Buds on the plant open into flowers where new seeds will grow. Many of the foods people eat are seeds, fruits, and pods. They are full of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. So a lot of the things we eat are actually the seeds or fruit of a plant. They're tasty too. What do you see in this picture? I see carrots and corn, and pumpkin, tomatoes, and apples. So this is the cycle of a plant. So it starts as a baby seed and it turns into a big plant. And then sometimes it grows flowers or fruit. Do you have a garden at home? Do you plant seeds? I'd love to see a picture of your gardens. All right, go and tell someone in your house what this book was about. I'll see you soon. Bye.